welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have a really quick update and it, the final update at that for the painting games. This was a year long or is a year long project and um, this was created by Amber McClincy and she, she was brilliant. When she brought this to our attention we were like absolutely we're doing this project. It is based on the Hunger Games and the 24 Tributes and it was so much fun. We had to put like 50 products in a box or a bag or on random or something like that and draw them in 30 seconds. And what you get is what you get. You can't see it until after you've already pulled it out. And it was a lot of fun. It really was. And um, it's been a long time. I feel like this project has been going on forever because yeah, it this is 11 months. And the next thing that you're gonna see from me is the finale. It, it was awesome. I really enjoyed this. I do not know if it's coming back next year. Um, you know, Amber's got some things going on, so I don't know if she is going to participate and do this again next year or not, or later this year. I don't know. We'll have to talk to her and see what she wants to do about it. I know a lot of people have expressed some interest in it, but um, it was um, it was brought to the Fantastic Ladies through Amber McClincy, and we don't want to just take her project and run with it another year without her say so. So we will figure out what's going on, and we will let you know as we find out. I know you guys really enjoyed this a lot, and and I did too. All right, let's get into this. Um, did I say this was a Fantastic Ladies collab? I might have. Yeah. So it started August first of twenty eighteen. Goes to August first. August 1st of 2019, which is less than a month away, um, and um, 24 products. I got some hard ones. I really did, and as of this past update, 22 were taken care of, and I had two left that I was working on, and I am happy to say I do have another empty this time. And this was my last of three eye primers. Thank God one was small. This is the Laura Geller Waterproof Eye Spackle in Fair to Light. It is finally done. The formula was lovely. It really was. The color was way too light for me, but um, it just was the wrong color for me. That's not the product's fault. It, it was given to me by my friend who is much more pale than I am, and that's why it was a lighter color. Um, it did... The formula worked well. It stayed all day. It kept my kept my eyes from creasing. And I have incredibly oily eyelids. So if a primer does that, that is a good thing. The reason I would never purchase this again is not the color. Nope, not the formula, but the packaging. Do you see that? Do you see that brush tip? It is horrible. It is incredibly short. And it's kind of a waste because it doesn't function the way you think a brush tip should. I couldn't use this to put it on my eyes if I wanted it to be nice and smooth and even. So I would have to put this on and like just kind of get it out of the tip and then use a synthetic makeup brush and smooth it all on. And it's just an extra step that, you know, if you got a brush on here, you should be able to use it as a brush, but you can't, you can't. So. Um, that is the one reason I would not purchase this again. If they did it like um, Bare Minerals Prime Time, with um, it's almost like a doe foot applicator, and the product comes up through the middle of that applicator. I like that one. It's like it's a nice fuzzy little doe foot applicator, and I can actually use that applicator to put it on. This not so much. If they change the packaging, I might because I did really like the formula, but like that, mm -mm, I, I just never would. All right, moving on, enough about that. I have one product left and I hope I can finish it. I hope I can finish it. It is the Philosophy Frozen Lemon Custard Lip Shine. And I have been working on this bad boy for a year. Granted, I have worked on a lot of other lip products, but um, whew, these things, they take forever. This is what is left. As you can see, I was up here at the last update. Now I am down here. I use this every single day now because I want it to be gone. I have what, like three and a half-ish weeks until the end. And you know, I film a day or two ahead because I need to. I at least film the day before. 
because I'm busy and I, I got to get it done. I can't upload at quarter after 12 a.m. You know, and film it like moments before I upload. It's just, it's not possible. I'm up that time, but I'm usually uploading. So, um, yeah, this, I have about three weeks to get it done and I just don't know if I can. I am going to try really, really hard to do that, but, um, it's, it's thin, but sticky. It's a little bit stickier than I would normally like. I would not purchase another one of these. I mean, it's nice and it is very shiny, but, um, it's definitely not my preferred lip gloss form. Uh, and these tubes, I, I don't think I would ever buy one of these kinds of tubes again. I just, I much prefer like a doe foot applicator on just about everything. And, um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can get this done. If any of you guys have ever finished one of these tube lip glosses, whether it's philosophy or another brand, let me know because kudos to you. If you have, these are a beast to try to finish. I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to put it right back over there so I can use it, apply it, reapply it, crossing my fingers. Hopefully on the first, I will have an update that says it is done because you know, that's it. That's the last one. If I don't finish it, you know, I'm not going to beat myself. I'm not going to beat myself up over it. I could, if I could speak, um, if it's not finished, I probably would roll it into the August lip service just to get it finished off. But um, I'm really hoping that I can have it done in Panty Games. That is my ultimate goal. All right, wrapping this up, I will have everyone that has joined in listed down below. Some have already finished theirs. I've actually seen some finales from some people. So some people have finished it. Some people are still working on products like I am. So go check out their channels if you want to and um, see how they have done with theirs. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.